out of seeing the Batman on opening night. Um, so we're gonna give our first initial thoughts on it. Straight out of the theater, what do you think? I don't think I ever need another Batman film. I mean, I this, want more, but like this was, this was, this was it. This was the most Batman of any Batman movie I think we've ever gotten. Yes, I think um, being as vague as possible, any complaints that anybody had about any previous Batmans was pretty much addressed here. Yeah. Um, there are very, to some people I would say, very specific pacing issues, but other than that, I think it's perfectly well done. I think that the pacing is uh, right where it needs to be, especially in certain scenes. I can see why some people would think they drag, but if you're looking at like a psychological thriller, like a seven or something like that, I think it fits perfect. Yeah, um, I think as far as like the pacing issues that people complain about, that's like more of like the general audience. Like people who like art tour kind of movies, I think will vibe with this a lot more. Yeah. They won't have issues with it. There was a little nitpicky thing I had towards the end, but other than that, and I me, have no issues with it. Me and him disagree on the nitpicky thing, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there will be a lot of discussion on that one thing over and over again on our podcast for the next two months probably at least another two years yeah <laughs> until the next one comes out yeah at least um and i think real quick also being as vague as possible we should share favorite moments okay um there's a lot of favorite moments to be honest but i particularly liked how batman is really almost like a horror character in a way especially to criminals in this movie um, people are actually terrified of this guy. Yes. It kind of reminds me in like Arkham Knight how he uses like the fear takedowns. Yeah, like it, yeah. it's like that kind of reaction that For he sure. gets from people, like mm -hmm. just his presence. It's it's yeah. a lot more demanding than it's ever been. Definitely. Um, my favorite would probably be. The first time you see the Batmobile, there's just a certain kind of like yeah. raw power that comes out of it. Like yeah. it feels, it feels like some illegal shit got done to that Batmobile. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, it's, it's definitely nuts. not street legal at all. Yeah, it's fucking it's insane. insane. So oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. With that being said, I'm, there's not a whole lot else we can really go into other than giving a uh, score. Score. Uh, right now, I'd have to give it a nine out of ten. Nine point five out of ten. Ooh. Nine point seven out of ten. I'm going just ten. 9.8 out of 10. <laughs> it's going up in his head. Yeah. I really do think this was the perfect death. Uh, yes. I know that there's going to be nitpicky things, and once we all settle down and actually figure out where we lie on this, maybe it'll drop a little bit, but yeah. it's, in my opinion, the best superhero film of all time. Even out doing the joke. Of all time? Of all time. Okay. Period. All right. Fair enough. Pause. Awesome. So, yes, uh, definitely if you get a chance, go to any theater near you and watch The Batman. It is an absolutely fantastic movie. Yes, um, we will have a spoiler-free review coming and spoiler talk coming, all that stuff. So subscribe. Yes, please make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Only fans. And definitely TikTok. And uh, make sure to listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and follow us on our YouTube channel. And See you guys next time. Peace. Peace.